what was the inspiration behind writing this book? Why did you feel it was so important? You know, I, I've always maintained a conscious kitchen, whether or not I knew that it was called that before I started the project. Um, and I found that I have a lot of friends that are and family members and um, readers of my, of my last book that are really interested in eating organic food, um, but didn't understand other things they could be doing in their kitchen to make it more conscious. Well, that's excellent. I, I know a lot of people, sometimes when they think of the word green or organic, uh, they're just overwhelmed because there's so much information out there. Right. What exactly does it mean to go green in your kitchen? It means a lot of things, but it really just mainly means thinking about what's in your kitchen. And for cleaning, um, I always like to say, if, it, if it's not something I'm willing to eat, it's not something I'm willing to cook with. And that doesn't mean that I'm eating cleaning products, but it means you know you can cook, you can clean with lemon, or you can clean with vinegar, or you can go to the store and you can get a product where you understand the ingredients on the ingredient list. Do you feel that it is uh, harder or easier uh, to be organic or have an organic slash green family uh, if you live in a more rural area, or can you be just as uh, sort of eco-friendly living in a city? Um, you know, there's more farmers markets all over the country and there are, are great places online where you can find, you know, the, the greenest food and the greenest cleaning products and everything closest to you, no matter where you live. What are some other things that uh, people can do to ensure that they are embracing the green lifestyle and how can you even begin to introduce these concepts to your family? If this is the things I like to talk about is if you're taking your, you know, great organic food and you're, and you're cleaning with your good organic products, you should also be um, cooking your good food in tried and true materials. You want to use cast iron pans, which again have been around for thousands of years. Um, so it's a tried and true material, stainless steel, enamel coated cast iron. These things are all safer and better for you and for the environment than something like a non-stick pan. Um, and you want to store things in glass instead of plastic. Plastic, you know, there are chemicals in plastic that can and do get into your food. So certainly never microwave in plastic. That's a direct route into your food. Our viewers, uh, where can they go to find your book and just find out more information on, uh, you know, having an eco-friendly lifestyle and being green on a daily basis? The, the book is widely available. And um, I did say 7generation.com. I, I know it's a cleaning product site, but there's, there's just tons of information on, on living this kind of lifestyle. Okay, well, great. Well, Alexandra, thank you so much for your time today. Thank uh, you for having me. Oh, well, wonderful. I think that our viewers will definitely benefit from um, all of this information, and I know I have myself. I'm going uh, right out to see how I can go about making I'm, my I'm so glad green. to hear it. Don't try and do it all at once. You'll fail like a diet. Take it step by step. <laughs> okay, I'll pace myself. Okay. Well, thanks so much. You have a great day. Thank you.